What all of us know about volleyball is that it is a team sport in which two teams of six players are spread by a net. We also know that each team tries to score points by grounding a ball on the other team's court and under certain rules. But what do you know about the history of volleyball? In this video, we're gonna dig into the history of this famous sport that is being played across the globe, so let's jump right in! Did you know that volleyball has been around for a century or so? It was first invented back in 1985 in Holyoke, Massachusetts, only four years after basketball, by William G. Morgan, who originally called it Mintonet. Its original name derived from badminton as a pastime to be played preferably indoors and by any number of players. After graduating from Springfield College of YMCA, Morgan had the idea of inventing a sport that would be a combination of basketball, baseball, tennis and handball. Mintonet was designed to be less rough than basketball for older members of the YMCA, while still requiring a bit of athletic effort. The main reason behind inventing this nowadays very popular game was that back then and even now a lot of people couldn't keep up with all the movements basketball required, but they also wanted to have a sport they could enjoy, so he figured out that volleyball would be a great alternative that came as a combination of the best aspects of games that it was inspired by. We can agree that his mission was beyond successful, since volleyball is one of the most famous sports today, played at least once a week among 800 million people worldwide. As funny as it sounds, the first volleyball net was actually borrowed from tennis. It was only 6'6 high, but it wasn't an issue since the average American was shorter in the 19th century, and it required a 25 feet times 50 feet court. A match was composed of nine innings with three serves for each team in each inning and no limit to the number of ball contacts for each team before sending the ball to the opponent's court. In case of a serving error, players were allowed a second try. Hitting the ball into the net was considered a foul with a loss of the point or a side out, except in the case of the first try serve. The rules were modified over the next few months and on July 7, 1896, the first official game of volleyball was played at International YMCA Training School, which is now called Springfield College, and after someone suggested calling it volleyball, since the ball was being volleyed back and forth across the net, the name was changed, so they finally agreed to call it and spell it as one word, volleyball. The rules were slightly modified by the international YMCA training schools and the game spread around the country to various YMCAs. Then, in early 1900s, sports equipment brand Spalding produced books with complete instructions and rules for the sport through its publishing company, American Sports Publishing Company. It is arguable to this day whether the ball was created in 1986 or 1900 by Spalding, so I guess we'll never find out. However, what we certainly know is that the rules evolved over time, so the offensive style of setting and spiking was first demonstrated in the Philippines in 1916, and four years later, two new rules were established, a three hits rule and a rule against hitting from the back row. Volleyball became a part of physical education classes in schools and colleges in 1916 when the YMCA asked the National Collegiate Athletic Association to help advertise and publicize volleyball and to assist in improving the rules. In 1917, the game was changed from requiring 21 points to win to a smaller 15 points to win, and three years later, in 1920, the rules were changed so that each side was only allowed to touch the ball three times before passing it onto the other team, and the rules of the back row attack were created. In 1919, about 16,000 volleyballs were distributed by the American Expeditionary Forces to their troops and allies, which sparked the growth of volleyball in new countries. The first country outside the United States to adopt volleyball was Canada in 1900. 
The first YMCA national championships happened in 1922 in New York, and in 1928 the U.S. Volleyball Association, now called USA Volleyball, was created and was open to people who were not in the YMCA. The first beach volleyball game was played in 1930. The forearm pass, more commonly known as the bump, was invented in the late 1940s and the Federation Internationale de Volleyball, FIVB, which is now the biggest global sports organization in the world, was established in Paris, France, in 1947, comprising representatives from 14 countries, and it was held accountable to regulate volleyball globally. The first World Championships were held in 1949 for men and 1952 for women. The sport is now popular in Brazil, in Europe where, especially Italy, the Netherlands and countries from Eastern Europe have been major forces since late 1980s, also in Russia and in other countries including China and the rest of Asia, as well as in the United States. The FIVB has grown in the past seven decades and now comprises more than 200 affiliated bodies. This growth enables it to host championships throughout the year, including World Championships, World Cups, and FIVB Grand Championships Cups. Thus, there are numerous chances to wager on this popular sport, including beach volleyball, which is a variation of the game played on sand and with only two players per team, and was added to the Olympic program at the 1996 Summer Olympics. The FIVB has a crucial role to play in the expansion and success of volleyball. They host numerous international contests, including the FIVB World Championships, the FIVB World League, the FIVB World Grand Prix, the FIVB World Cup, and the FIVB Grand Championships Cup, and they have been promoting volleyball for many decades. Volleyball is also a sport at the Paralympics managed by the World Organization Volleyball for Disabled, also known as a WOVD. In the early 1920s, early adopters of the game were nudists, with regular organized play in clubs, and in the 1960s, a volleyball court had become standard in almost all nudists and naturists clubs. Now let's talk a bit about beach volleyball. The first beach volleyball tournament happened in 1948 and in 1949, the first volleyball world championships took place in Prague, Czechoslovakia. By 1951, 50 million people in over 60 countries were playing the sport. In 1955, it became a part of the Pan American Games and in 1957, volleyball became an official team sport in the Olympics and was played in the 1964 Summer Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan. Volleyball continued to evolve, so in 1965, the California Beach Volleyball Association was inaugurated. In 1983, the Association of Volleyball Professionals was established. The Women's Professional Volleyball Association was started in 1986, and the World League was developed in 1990. 1995 marked the 100-year anniversary of volleyball, and a year after that, beach volleyball was included in the Olympic Games for the first time in the 1996 Summer Olympics. Aqua Volley, a variant invented in Ecuador, with some significant variants such as the number of players and a heavier ball. Foot Volley, a sport from Brazil in which the hands and arms are not used, but it is otherwise similar to beach volleyball. Handball, a sport in which teams have to throw a ball using their hands inside a goal. Hoover Ball, popularized by President Herbert Hoover, it is played with a volleyball net and a medicine ball. Newcomb Ball, in which the ball is caught and thrown instead of hit and this game actually rivaled volleyball in popularity until the 1920s. Sepak Takro Played in Southeast Asia using a rattan ball and allowing only players' feet, knees, chests and heads to touch the ball. Snow Volleyball A variant of beach volleyball that is played on snow. The FIBB has announced its plans to make snow volleyball part of the future Winter Olympic Games program. 
Overall, volleyball has influenced the lives of many different people. The combination of multiple sports used while inventing this particular one makes it a very fun and different game that can be played by people who are looking for a challenge but do not want something too strenuous like basketball. It allows people to collaborate and share their skills and have fun without getting too exhausted through a sport that is not too vigorous. The sport has changed throughout the years as it spread from coast to coast, becoming one of the most popular sports in today's world. This brings us to the end of today's video. Let us know in the comments which volleyball player is your all-time favorite. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also hit that bell button to get notified when we post a new video about your favorite sport.